Okay, we're hunting for stars. Yeah, we're here for the first time in a long time for this game. There's a, we got a lot we're for, doing for any game. We we haven't streamed in a, in a little while. A week over a week. Yeah, maybe. when was Comic Con? It was Fun. not last weekend. Was it the weekend before? Yeah. Uh, the good news is though is that we haven't been idle. The We've we done did a recording. of uh, It's coming out, yeah. hopefully tomorrow. We did a new Monster Girl quest. Yes, we did. And uh, I'm almost over my cold that you probably haven't heard about because the video's not out yet. And I have been infected by your cold and been miserable. Yeah, so uh, misery loves company. On to Mary... Oh, stereo and mono. Yeah. Do you hear a difference? No. Yeah, I don't either. Maybe you have to pick it before. I, I, Maybe I it's like know. the stereo is a psychological thing. It's completely psychosomatic. It does nothing. <laughs> this this uh, song's pretty good. Yeah. Can we stay in the suite, please? So uh, you could actually stay in this in like the really expensive suite here, and and, uh, and you, you don't you don't have to pay. Yeah. Immediately, you can pay when you oh, leave. payment plan. Yeah, and then if you don't, if you don't have enough to pay him, then then he makes you wash dishes. Okay. No joke, he does. For how long? I don't know. I've never. How may we help you today? Uh, what do you have again? Oh wait, shit! I don't want to be here. Yeah. No. Yeah. Happy, happy pants. What's so happy inside the pants? Alright, if I remember correctly, it's either left trigger or left bumper. I don't remember which, I'm not gonna chance it. Happy pants. No, you don't understand. You know why these pants are so happy? Why? Bounty. They're not ripped. Yeah. Oh. Yes, we are streaming. So, master, chomp, and handgun. Yeah, we still have the issues with the menu, potentially. So, uh... Yeah. That in mind. Yeah, we're not using uh, another. This this emulator's giving us nothing but trouble. All yeah, right. well, with this game especially. All right, so we're heading back to Mushroom Kingdom. Got to well, tell. Are we not in the Mushroom Kingdom? Or no, we got to head back to the fuck to the castle. Okay. Hey. Welcome back, Mario. Damn it. Mario, let's get hitched in a few years. No. Uh. Go fit. Oh! Huh? Bowser's with them! What? Okay. Bowser chuckled at that and just scared the kid off. Oh, okay. Bowser's with us, remember? I'm glad you explained that because that would have not been clear otherwise. I hope my grandchild turns out to be just like the. Oh, so Bowser can kidnap her? Okay, we've, we've talked to these scrubs before, so. Yeah, I would like to stream more, but, uh, you know, we both got. Okay, full-time kind of sort of jobs. Yeah, your job starting up again, and yeah, as always. Hey, I got the princess. I'm home. And with Mario. Yeah. And some, some wonderful new friends. Well, I guess I guess two out of the three are totally new people, but the third one's just like, uh, didn't really apologize for his past behavior. Didn't really go. Yeah, we're allies forever. It's just like, oh, hey, Mario, the princess is up there. You want to help me get her? Yeah. And then Mario's like, okay. It was temporary truce. Yeah. That won't end until... <coughs> I don't know. Until the Paper Mario series. Yes, in which case they're right. No, this is a sequel. Oh, okay. This is the, remember... So he got beat in Paper Mario. Then he was lowered to a, a mid-boss in Paper Mario 2. And now he's an ally because he's just so non threatening. Yeah, it's the Vegeta character arc. Mm. It's, uh. <laughs> uh oh, I'm, I can take care of myself with Mario's help. But I thought Cammy was Frieza. Yeah! Okay. Cammy's, fr Cammy's Frieza and Bowser's Vegeta? <laughs> it's an alternate universe where Frieza acts cow to Vegeta, but he goes, yeah, I'm the stronger one. What are we talking about in alternate continuity where Frieza was like. On, on on a leash by the Z fighters. Oh yeah, <laughs> he, he, he like he like repents and they're like, oh, you could be our maid. <laughs> this is where it like in the, in Resurrection F, he offered Vegeta to work for him again. It's... And what if Vegeta offered hit offered Frieza a chance I'll to work for him instead? I'll give you a chance. You work for me. What? That's preposterous. You want to die? Cut to maid Frieza <laughs> just vacuuming Bulma's lawn. <laughs> looking so put house. up. Looking so put upon. 
There's a lot of, like, very cutesy feminine art of Frieza that people yeah. draw. Well, he's a, I thought he was a girl for the longest time as a kid. I think a lot of people did. And I'm like, wait, he's a guy? That's... Uh, okay. It changed my whole view on what, on what gender is. She didn't say Bowser's not dangerous. She said, Mario's got everything under control. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining Bowser walking through here with like chains all over his neck and his body, his handcuffed together. Every time Bowser looks like he's about to like punch out a toad, you, you, Mario just puts his hand on his shoulder and just shakes his head. He's got like two toads behind him with cattle prods. Can't tell him the truth. If this gets out, I'm finished. <laughs> Mallow being a bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell him. Excuse me, sir. Are you talking to the princess? I guess I guess that's fair. Oh, the chancellor. Yeah. Perhaps I can set the sage, and the others can add their comments along the way. Oh, it's the recap. Oh, the right. The courage, the cowardly dog recap. Princess, they were thrown in different directions. Then Star Road got nuked. And then. Pfft. Uh, cool expression. <laughs> right into the keep. It was a gigantic sword! Bowser did not mind that at all. <laughs> he, he just tanked it like a bro! Just... <laughs> Joke's on him, Mario jumped on his spikes. <coughs> now Bowser's keep has been taken over by monsters who work for some creep named Smithy. Yeah? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, this plot concerns, uh, arms di when we need to see the volume. I know. I, uh, I realized I hadn't have the chat open. Oh! Damn it! I knew we forgot something. All right. Is verifying application requirements required? Update. Yeah. Oh, we're updating. Oh no. Hi, people in chat. If you're there and we haven't been noticing you. All right, continue. <laughs> it's been asked to update. They've thrown me out of my own. I mean, I've decided to take a vacation. Yes, that's it. They can't do this to me. I was working on a plan to get my house back when. Mario walked up to me and let me be and begged me to jo <laughs> let him join the Frieza Patrol. He's, he's become Usopp. Yeah. He's like Usopp. I had no choice but to let him in. It was pathetic. Yeah. And that's and how I, the great Captain Usopp. It's okay. We know Bowser's stretching the truth a little. A little loser. Why are you traveling with Mario? I'm looking for my family. Also, I may not actually be a frog. Restream I, chat can't I, be minimized. I'm pretty... I'm 99% sure I'm a frog. But there's that 1% that's haunted me forever. Maria! And my parents. That's why we're on the... This is dreadful news! Awful! Horrible! That's horrible! You're, you're, you don't know who your real family are? That's sad. Hope you find your real parents soon. Okay, it's Huff and Puff and what's it? What's a, a female cloud? Um, Rule sixty three cloud. Sure, Rule sixty three <laughs> Huff and Puff. It's Huff and Puff and like a female Majin Huff and Puff. Yeah, he's. <laughs> That's how we have a Majin race. They in, just like, they parts right? of themselves and like mixed it together, and then oh, there's another person. All right, we can see the chat now. You can say hi if you want to. Yeah, Boo just ripped off a piece of himself and gave it boobs, right? That's how that worked in Dragon Ball. Apparently, at some point in Dragon Ball continuity, Boo wow. looked at a porno mag and was like, "It was like, I want to reproduce." And Mr. Saiyan was like, "Uh, I, I don't know how you can. You're gonna need uh, another part, another person for that." Okay. Creates a fucking female. Well, Xenoverse specifically, right? Well, Xenoverse, yeah. yeah it's not like in Dragon Ball Super. We see a hundred years later, and there's a bunch of Majins running around. <laughs> Dragon Ball Super in the future, and then the Majins become a permanent race. Or GT, for that matter. You know what? People would be less likely to fuck with Earth if they found out that there was a whole bunch of Majins just running around. Yeah. Majin remember, Buu made a home here and reproduced. Remember, Majin Buu had a reputation! There are two people- In Dragon Ball Z! There are two people in the universe Frieza knew not to fuck with. Beerus and Majin Buu. <laughs> what if Majin Buu was there? He just looks at the two of them and just leaves peacefully. Alright, so... Where? What? 
like in Dragon, like in the Super when Frieza was come down, kind came down. He saw Beerus. He was like, "Are you gonna interfere?" Beerus was like, "Nah, he I was is." Eat this ice cream. <laughs> and then Majin Buu came out and just looked at Frieza. <laughs> and then Frieza just fucks off. Yeah. Oh, I can't take him. Except for some reason, he could have. Bowser kidnapped. What? That oh, wow. Star Road. That Not Rod, Road. This is like, very emasculating towards Mario. Actually, that sounds pretty good to me. Let's forget about these star things. What? What? What's happening? They need to oh, collect the things so they can never take out Smithy? They, they need to collect the star pieces so they can fix the star road so dreams can come true again. And that's how they take out Smithy? Uh... With the power of the star road? I'm sure they'll get to it along the way. I mean, he is, like, creating cyborgs to, like, fight Mario and the crew. What, what's the threat here? What are we doing? We need to make everybody's dreams come true! That's what we're doing! It's important! Okay. Why are they not coming true? Because Star Road's broken! Because the giant fuck sword went through it! Okay, now I'm caught up. <laughs> now let's talk about DBZ again and ignore <laughs> more of the plot. <laughs> we can fight. Ah... Uh, Hey, I want to come with... You're not thinking of joining them, are you? Are you gonna join them, Chancellor? I'll send you in my place. This is sheer madness. You're I... a princess. What <laughs> would people say? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you're there. You want her to be the kind of stay in the kitchen princess? Wow. Smile and wave, Peach. <laughs> oh, just throw flowers. Let yes. her have cake, princess. Where's the, uh, we need Otacon princess back. Otacon Prince. <laughs> Did what, you just picture Otacon in a dress? No, I pictured like a princess literally at Otacon. Like the, the Japanese. Oh, one. right, yeah. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I'm enjoying my anime. Yeah. I'm tired. I need to lay down in my room. You too. Good luck. Oh, yeah, we got... That's a Hunter Hunter crew. Almost. I guess. Just like the four of them. Princess. So I guess, does that make Bowser Kahlua? <laughs> I guess so. Because the other two don't really go with the other two. Yeah. Which one's Leorio? Which Mallow. one's... I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so that would make Gino a really smart Karapika. I guess. Are you saying Karapika's stupid? Oh wait, I'm thinking Leorio. Uh, Milo could be a really, uh, sad Leorio. I guess in terms of personality, oh, fuck, we don't really have a Kahlua. Oh yeah, that's right, uh, Smithy attacked, uh, Mushroom Kingdom, and now... We must ask you for his favor. Defeat Smithy! So, we have to fix the Star Road for Gino, and we have to destroy Smithy for our kingdom. Can't you people do anything for yourselves? You, they were attacked by cyborgs! Like... Toadstool's home, she's gotta stay safe in the kingdom. All we can do is wait here. She, All, she's uh, gonna break for it, isn't she? Oh, what do you think? We're gonna meet her outside. Wait, but first... Uh, yeah. You step into a room with her? So, uh... What's going on, princess? Are you looking for XXX? Yes. It's behind yeah. the fireplace. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Did they the, put it away? Oh, wait. Uh, hey. Good luck, Mario! I oh, humbled yeah. myself before you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let us, uh, let us depart on our amazing journey with just the four of us. The, f the five of us. Oh, God. Look at what she's doing! Yep. The game didn't get that from nowhere. Oh, she just tossed. Why could he use that? Please, Mario, take me along with you. This is the weird. Mm. Grandma helped me through the. Wait, you, you have a your grandma? Gr your grandma threw you out the window? <laughs> Can you like, give me to them? Sure, honey. Ah! Toads are good at throwing, according to Mario too. Yeah. Let's go. So is, is this like a is this like a 
Ganondorf situation, where every so many years you get like a, a human born among the Toad people. Oh yeah, that's a cause for celebration. Yeah, genetic, uh, the gene pool aligned just right to produce our our monarch, and so she becomes the uh, the Spore Queen. And that's to spawn toads for a whole generation. <laughs> She's the hive mind, that's why it's very important they rescue her. Your guys' argumental contemplation are very fitting to this music. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Always a pleasure. This kind of reminds me of Satoshi Kone music for some reason. Like, I can hear oh, yeah. this paprika. It's like, it's parade. A little bit. Oh, a little bit circusy. Utopia no parody. Just as I thought! She joins the party! Once again. Okay, so, uh... Did he uh, just kiss his hand and then do a victory symbol? Uh, sure. That's Let's a very see. Italian thing to do. I'm gonna save. Where's the save point? It's down here, probably. Can I... No, I... But... Okay. I'm standing guard! Okay. Even if you walk past me, you won't get in. Isn't there one in the town? Or the inn or something? Yeah, you're right. I, I'm dumb. Okay, let's, uh, but first, I think Pe Princess Peach left something in her room. We'll have to go grab it. Yeah? Is it the XXX? Let's see. Will it work? Oh, wait, what? You can't jump? What? What are you trying to do? Oh. What? <laughs> Hello? Mario! Stop peeking the oh. other- Oh. Oh. Is that the- that's the fake princess. Is that the grandmother? Thanks for putting up with all my selfish demands. Little adventure will do you good. See the world, make friends, help destroy Smithy. It's like, uh... It's like, uh, the mobile infantry ads in, uh, Starship Troopers. Yeah? It was an alternate universe where Nazis won World War II. But there was still genetic diversity! Okay. Surprisingly enough. Uh, and they were, like, having ads for, like, joining the mobile infantry, and it's, like, a War as Hell movie, right? They were like, hey, look at how glamorous this is. This is there's no danger at all. Yeah. Danger! Pfft. Oh, wait, where's the... You know who the main enemies were in Starship Troopers? Who? Oh. Just giant insects. Just oh. giant alien insects. As has to do with Nazis. <laughs> they weren't actually Nazis. Apparently, they just scrubbed that shit from the movie, and oh, it was yeah. in a novel. Do you hear that the, uh... You, did you hear that the Mario Brothers movie original scripts were leaked recently? Oh, they were?! Like, the ones before the movie was made. They've got pre-production oh. scripts. Oh my god! I, I want to read those. Yeah? Like... The movie kinda, was so kinda fucking raunchy weird. for a PG movie. Kind of Oh, the movie itself? The scripts. Oh, really? Because the movie was pretty... Than, yeah. The movie was pretty hardcore, too. Like, uh, Bowser in that movie wanted to, like, fuck Princess Peach. Yeah. And Bowser was played by Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. Oh, that's... Where are we going? I don't know. Uh... We're going to the Star Tower place thing? Star Mountain? Star... Yeah. I'm just trying to remember... Where exactly the forest maze now? Okay, so I guess we're going to Maryville. The map just kind of ends. Yeah. And I'm wondering, like, wait. Can we go here? Back to the booster place? No. Oh god damn it. Uh, Mario. There isn't much. <coughs> okay, I'll go with you. <coughs> Yeah, he's getting over the cold, but he hasn't. Yeah, he's gone. I'm gonna find the fucking. Sorry about that. Ah, it's fine. You're, you're. Okay, is it up here? Is this the? No, that's just the map exit. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to talk to the fucking uh, ambassador again. Is he the where you go next guy? I'm just. I, or is it up here? No, because up there we can't get past Vista Hill. When Bandit's way, no. Oh my god. You need to look this up. I hope not! 
Go talk to not Merlin. Okay, not Merlin. Listen, uh, Ambassador, Prime Minister, uh, where are we going? Where's All we can do is wait here. Don't let us down. Oh my god. Happy hunting, Mario! So they're you... just saying, find it yourself, asshole. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, I was. Oh! If Bowser's here, he's just gonna fucking terrify the toads. Look what I found in the wallet. It's yours, isn't it? Oh, it's a frog. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I need <coughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Yeah, apparently there's a line in the movie where Mario asks Luigi, Are you just gonna, like, stand there stroking your thing? Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Are you just gonna stand? There's, uh, at, <laughs> at least two or three instances of the word shit. <coughs> Mario's saying shit. Okay. Does Mario have mob tie-ins in the final movie? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck script is this? Uh, apparently his, pl his plumbing business, he had, uh, was going bad. He had some money owed to the mob and they were coming after his kneecaps. I'm, I'm okay. not making this up. The lab, the, the movie script still involved Mario and Luigi going underground to help the fucking uh, alternate universe dinosaur king city. I don't know if it was alternate universe or underground or what. But there was one. I mean, there was Bowser in it still. And there was this dude and, and, and Toad. I have no fucking idea where I'm going. I'm gonna have to look this up. Alright. I, I guess I'll just over. wander. God damn it. This is embarrassing. Let me see. Okay. I'm gonna do really well. I'm gonna play this game. Oh fuck, where am I going? Riveting. Yes. Like, okay, we saved the princess. Do we have to go to talk to somebody in Maryville? I feel like that's the case. Yeah. That's where our next clue should be. I don't want the page to load. Oh, hey, I walked through an HTML. Awesome. I can actually skip to the place I want to. Mary more. What's the talk button? A. No. Or B, there. It's a... Yeah, yeah that's the button. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, Tadpole Pond. That... That was obvious! Yeah? Unless we missed dialogue in which Mallow was like, Hey, idiots, go to Tadpole Pond! Yeah. Because we were too busy talking about our DBZs! Fuck. How the fuck did Frieza get strong enough to skip three Super Saiyan levels? Okay, remember what Frieza said? And this isn't what he said, I quote, I've never had to train a day in my life. You forced me to actually try. I'm just gonna work out for four months. And here, now I'm stronger than Boo. It's still a cop out, though. Is he stronger than Boo, though? Boo's pretty strong. He was the <laughs> Super Saiyan God. Boo was on Super Saiyan 3 level. Keep in mind. Yeah, Frieza. I have the latest news, children. A large star has been sighted on Star Hill. Oh, thank you. Now we can go to Star Hill. After that one line of dialogue, unlocking it. Star Hill has been unlocked, children! You ready to go to Star Hill, children? <coughs> there, now we can go to Star Hill! Yeah! Uh, just fucking let the. If you're confused. Alright. Smooth sailing from here on out. This is, uh, very starry. Oh. So are we in, like, a, a meteor cluster? 
Uh, are we still on I the Earth? I guess so, are yeah. Around? I guess this is like a section of, uh, of the Star Road that just fell and just... There was a town here, it's gone now. So there are enemies, but as far as I, I know, there's no boss. There's Star Hill, which is... Which were transformed at the Star Road. Fall from here. F Wait. Uh... Wishes which were transformed at the Star Road. Fall. Up? You just kind of let them go and they just fly upwards? I guess. They fly, not fall up. Yeah, he descended upwards. <coughs> you, you mean ascended? Some wishes that haven't been granted yet are falling because Smithy destroyed the Star Road. Frog Fuchsius mentioned hearing about a star piece on this hill. Yes. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, let's see. Hello, Bleming. Wish I had some cricket jam! That's cool. That's a wish. I hope my baby's cute! Right, meanwhile... Do we have control over that? Uh, oh, that's a lot of... Oh! Uh, Okay, sure. Is that... Oh, it's the... That's his weapon. I was gonna say, is that... Does that Gecko have a handgun? No. Oh, he stopped! Oh, damn it. Okay. Fun and run! One. <laughs> okay, that was cool, I guess. Oh, we should bring Princess Peach out. Oh, alright, yeah. So, when she joined the party, was she at... Like a comparable level to where we're at. Uh, I, th I think. Oh, they're just throwing shit at us. Do we have something that can? All right, this will work. Oh, uh, the rotating control stick—the best feature in old Nintendo games. Oh, you see, it's a big bruise on her hand. Oh, he killed the one guy. All right, I'm gonna take this guy out now. Literally scared to death. Scared to death. That was a movie once. Yeah. Was it better or worse than the book Fucked to Death? Oh no, far better. It was like an old uh, 80s movie. And it started with the woman died, the corner's like going, but She doesn't have any wounds on her! There's no obvious signs of poison, what the fuck happened to her? And then she, as dead, was like, here's how I came to die. I'll give you a hint, it involved a sinister midget. Okay. <laughs> what was that, uh... What was that Disney movie that was what about, like, the haunted elevator? The fuck was that? I don't know. Just... You see, they just kind of fiddle with its dick and just go, You missed me! Yeah, it had a misfire. Tower I don't of... trust you. I'm killing you off. Tower of Terror or something? I, I don't remember. What was the one you were talking about? The Disney movie about a haunted elevator or something. Oh, yeah, Tower of Terror. Is that it? Okay. Yeah. Was it a ride first and then a movie, or a movie first? Knowing Disney, probably a ride first. Yeah. Uh, do I want to double my coins? Now I'm good. You have reached level 10. Shocker! Oh yeah, it's like... It's, uh, it's like uh, the thunderstorm technique, but uh, it's yeah. uh, just one person. Oh, it's right. concentrated. The people who aren't in our party still level up. Yeah. Uh, should we... I... I hold on. Uh, I, I, know, I know the trigger is like... One of the buttons, but uh, yeah. Just in case. Yeah, just in case. All right, you. I. Rem I think I remember this only really happening with equipment, but. Yeah, level nine. So she's comparable. Uh. OG crew. Lowest HP. So she is the white mage, right? Uh. I don't know. Yes and no. Claire? She can. She can heal, but she's got like a. She's got the most unusual skill sh skill set. Okay. Also the most surprising one, considering that she was the only one who doesn't have, like, an entry in the game manual. Yeah. Other four do. I guess she was the surprise. Well, you don't want to spoil it. I guess not. Can't wait to start a family! He doesn't care if his is cute or not. I wonder if it's the same people that were, like, that followed us through the rest, through the rest of the game. What if this is, like, uh, what if these are, like, Umbario's parents? That'd be a kind that's, of continuity. Oh, that's adorable. <coughs> oh, what the fuck? That's not. Um, mammoth grave. I've never seen that before. It's permadeath. Come back for you, Jack. Oh my god. So we have therapy and group hugs. 
Which one do you think will work on that monstrosity? Which one is which? I. Oh, I guess uh, this is healing, and then this one is yeah. uh, therapy. Okay, yeah, she is the healer, but she's get, but she gets uh, other moves too. Oh, guess what she can do? Master, <laughs> do <laughs> master do. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. Okay, so it's a pun on Mastodon, and it's also a great gangster name. Also, it appears to be in water yeah. somehow. Master Doom Master in the house. Doom. His first album, Tusk. Eh, damage is all right. I should probably. One thirty-eight. Okay, Bowser. Peach is the only one who fights basically unarmed. Yeah. Well, she gets weapons. Alright, you can, you can heal yourself. Just chill off, be happy. Okay, and yeah, you did. It's good healing. Yeah, well, that's if you get the timing down. <coughs> 72. Die already. Oh, damn it. Slapped a skeleton to death. <laughs> slapped a ske Slapped to death. Okay. So here's how this works. Uh, there are gates. The gates are locked. You open them by talking to the flowers. Okay. Pretty simple. Oh, did we talk to this one already? Wish I had some cricket jam. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, hey guy. What's up? Just do I need to kill you too? Oh, it's uh. Pulsar. Pulsar. I am. Pulsar. I don't trust you, Phil. Beware! What? Did your phone ring? No. I have those vibrations. I'm hearing the vibrations! That was Peach's therapy. Lucky! Oh. He actually he fisted a North Star to uh, Peach. The crystal guy? No, uh, the other one. Oh, shit. Wow, Peach is not durable at all. Really need to get her HP up. Migraine. Is there, is there a littler guy inside of that? Ah, oh, it's to killed! Rip. Okay, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure Peach's therapy can be used outside of battle. No, I don't want to double my coins. Bowser reaches level 10! Okay. Oh, yeah, he levels up, which means his HP's at max. But first... Can I... Special. There we go. Yeah! Can be used anywhere. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, the the, the yeah. final person that we get is the fucking uh, is a fucking actual white mage rather than Mallow's uh, Red black mage. mage with healing. Yeah. Okay, so I got that <coughs> flower. I got that flower. I'm missing a flower. Where is there up further anywhere up north? Can you not go past? I can't that? go past this. Oh, I can. Oh, that's the way. Okay. I got confused for a second. I wish I weren't such a crybaby. This one's private! <laughs> okay, Mallow! <laughs> Come on. Our quest for the star piece is important. We gotta hurry, Everything's everybody's counting on us. Sorry about that, I'm embarrassed about my wish. <sighs> Man, today's just not your day! Poor little lemming. Poor little Mimikyu. It is a lemming, isn't it? It looks like a fucking... It's, it's like a gerbil. Yeah, it reminds me of something, but I can't remember what exactly. Like oh, a yeah. prairie dog? That kind of... That derpy face looks familiar. I think it looks like the, uh... The rat guy in Paper Mario. Remember the businessman? Whatever his race was? Oh, yeah! Where do they come from in the Mario canon? I uh, here, I guess. I guess so. All right, we're fight. <laughs> he fucked off. Uh, all alone, huh? How bad? 
Me Man, up. I just wanted to sell you insurance. I'm not here for this. There we go. We opened it. <coughs> now into the Wonderland gate. How deep does the rabbit hole go? All the way to the end. If I could just get that melody. Didn't we do that for you though? I, I, we granted his wish. Huzzah, we did a thing. The hunger, oh, for some food. Didn't we like, we got him, right? Did we get a guy food? Oh, we killed him. He was a uh, below. He's, that's not worth it then. I gotcha. Three of you together, huh? Why is Peach going first? Well, she's speedy. She's, she's a battle white mage. Why? Fun and run is just the worst attack. You. Right, I'm taking this guy out. Is that just them playing around? Uh oh. Who's gonna die? Turn to block it. Fuck! Insta death. I guess so. Those guys are pathetic. Well. It... Can I revive him? No. Uh. Yeah. Well, they're prairie dogs. They're, they're not known for their combat prowess. Yeah. <coughs> oh no. I am poisoned. Oh no, you are dead. You know, it's so good that at the end of every battle, like, uh, your companion gets revived. Yeah. It's like... We, uh, we obviously gotta do Pokemon on Friday, right? Oh, totally. Celebrate the virtual console release. Oh, uh, yeah. What better way to do it than not play the console that w that was released yeah. on? Yeah. <laughs> Our... All these mountains look... <laughs> All these hills look the same! It's weird! That's kind of a middle finger to Nintendo. They, the day of the virtual console release, we play ROMs. That is really fucking terrifying! Yeah. That's it's a kid the, that probably would have given me nightmares! That's the the nightmare in Dreamland. You got all these uh, all these cute little Pokemon, you got a little electric mole rat, and you got Kecleon, and then you got Mammoth Graveyard as a Yu-Gi-Oh monster <laughs> in the middle of everything. Alright, I'm gonna see what this guy can do. I'm gonna kill these, uh, these, uh, geckos off. Yeah, yeah. On average, Yu-Gi-Oh monsters were a lot more scary looking than Pokemon. Yeah, it, the arts, but it was based on like Egypt and. Well, was it? I don't know. Well, it started off as like horrifying, then it got like Dark Magician Girl, and that was kind of a turning point for the card game. I guess. The art style still is, on average, very unsettling. Yeah. Well, I mean, they have cutesy monsters, but then they also have really like. Realistic, gritty-looking monster hunter monsters. Yeah. It's funny. Oh, we had this this entire time. Oh, is that uh... yoink? Oh, is that an upgrade to flower points? Yeah. Ah, that's what the flower stuff does. It's interesting to compare like the uh, cutesy Karibo drawing versus something like uh, if I, what, Thousand what? Eyes Restrict. What's I the, want uh... to be a fall class maker. Da! Oh, yeah, you remember the guy who made that, uh, that cake? No. You really don't have a good memory for this game. No, I, I haven't committed much of this game to memory. It was the guy who made that, uh, living cake. I remember the living more. cake, I don't remember the guy. That was the guy! There was a guy? I just there remember the cake. There were two of them! There was, there was the baker and his assistant. <laughs> I love the, the, when they do the flash step one. What was the skull dude with like the horns, the demon skull thing that Yugi used? Uh, summon skull. Summon skull. That was it. The lich. Yeah. That was I, a very edgy monster. I was. I found it kind of weird how the how the main character was like using all these like really. Yeah, you better run. A lot of skull skeleton monsters in Yugi's deck. All all the dark shit. Dark magician. Yeah. And he was the good guy. I want to be the best treasure hunter in the world! Easy there, Toad. <laughs> Captain Toad's dreams begin. He fixed the Star Road, and then in ten years he got his fucking ge <laughs> Let me guess, you're gonna run off, Gecko, huh? I also looked at the uh, Monster Girl Quest highlights again earlier, and I... 
This might sound a little narcissistic, but I realized that my sylph voice is actually kind of adorable, and I should do that one more. Yeah, it is It is pretty cute. You could, you could pull off, like, a female character with that voice. And that got me to thinking, can you imagine me in, like, a... Please let, you, let Mallow find his way home. Oh! I, this wish is... It's from my mom and dad! They're wishing for me to come home! This ragtime piano sad music. Yeah. This is like a sad Trigun track. Look, look at what Mario is. He's just like... <laughs> He's literally standing on the wish. That's a, that's a fucking fate. That's a fucking look that just screams, I, I, I've learned today that Goombario died. Yeah. Sad Mario. Don't cry. This is the time to be crying. They're waiting for me to come home. Come on, Mario, we got a busy schedule to keep. I'll, I'll make you eat dust. Not literally, I Cloud hope. dust? Eat my cloud Whoa. dust. I was gonna say, could you imagine me doing like a Dan Green kind of role with Yugi versus Yugi? <laughs> Just going from something like this all the time to Yugi Moto, always like this. Hey, you can be the next, uh. I'm trying to. I'm double checking the wish to see if I didn't miss. There's one I want us, I want us to read before we uh, go. Yeah. And uh, I hope I didn't like miss it. The hunger, yeah. So you can be the next uh, Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist with that kind of. Uh, voice. I don't think they do that uh, possession shadow version thing anymore in the Yu-Gi-Oh. They better. This I think they're, they're kind of interesting. I think they're just normal dudes playing cards now. <laughs> they're oh, they dropped the magic aspect of it completely. Now it's just people just doing some old school gambling on motorcycles. <laughs> that was weird. We go from ancient Egypt like magic to we're dueling on motorcycles now. It's it kind of lost its charm once it went cyber like cyberpunk to me. Really? Honestly, the Zex still was like pretty good. Yeah, and the hair's gotten even crazier. It better have! Now, okay, from what I've seen of the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! seasons, now it involves, like, stands. What? Wait, what?! There's, like, these these ethereal spirit dudes who are floating next to the duelists. <sighs> this must be the worst. <laughs> He's telling them he how to fight. He played the a legendary card. This must be the work of an enemy stand. I want to be a great plumber like my brother Mario. Uh, Luigi, you know I don't. Plot, like clean pipes or anything, right? I kill people, Luigi. I'm a cleaner. Maybe he's talking about like my idol, Kitty Omega. Maybe he's talking about under the sheets. Oh, you mean? I want to be a great plumber. Holy crap! I caught this at school. Oh. Hi, hi, Derp. Good to see you. You mean? Uh, you mean you caught the stream at school? Good for you. Watch us instead of studying. Alright. Oh yeah, the star's probably around here somewhere, isn't it? There it is! Just sitting there, ready for the taking. Yeah. Oh. It'll be there for you later, Dirt. Oh, you're right, that was an easy chapter. No, it's, we gotta, we, at the very least, let's get out of this, uh, off this fucking hill. Yeah. But yeah, no, this uh, this one was just like... So there are seven of these things, right? Yeah. Hence, Legend of the Seven Stars. Yes. Be good, you've, you've managed... <laughs> I remembered the subtitle. I remembered a thing about this game. Yeah! Good for you. There's, uh, there's seven stars, but there's also optional challenges and stuff. Yeah. Oh, so we got three more. On the 90s scribble backgrounds. <laughs> yeah. With these pieces, these are like the nuts and bolts to Star Road. You've come a long way, but your journey is not over yet. There are three more star pieces. Alright. Let's, uh... You know in the Japanese, the Yugi voice? Wish I could run faster. What it's actually like a, like a really high-pitched, very kitty voice. And even in, even in, in the Pharaoh Yami mode... It's just kind of a, it's it's still the same high voice but in cool guy mode. Oh, oh! I heard because they because one of the editing they did was they made Yugi uh, in Yami form beat up on he didn't beat up on uh, Weevil Underwood as much. Oh yeah. And so the difference is, and I was hearing like Yugi, physically. Well, no, using like using, using Yu-Gi-Oh cards. 
Okay. It, it makes sense in context, but, uh... Let's another one. Just make sure that my, my EXP... Well, no, but it's like he uses just a cool guy Japanese pop star. I, I heard voice. it. It sounds... It sounded like... Wait. This is not my deep Dan Green voice. No. It actually sounds pretty cool. Wouldn't mind listening to an entire series like this. Well, uh, Monster card! One day we'll watch season zero. <coughs> one day. Let's at least uh, save it seaside town. There was a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh in that highlights video. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I don't mind. Uh. What's, what's wrong? You, you on okay? the counter? You okay, guy? This is the end. You may stay for free. What's this kid's movie mafia music? This has been playing this entire time. Like, it happens every time a certain situation is going on. Hey, we're fine. Wait, what the fuck? There was someone in our room. He was watching us. Were you watching while we were sleeping, guy? Uh, was okay. he harvesting dreams? Okay. Uh, you know what? This seems pretty suspicious. Let's, uh, let's take a look around a little bit before we go. Okay. Uh. I I'm sorry, what? I'm just a customer. And what's your deal, dude? Don't tell me you want supplies. I know. Hey, Vin, this mook's been going around our operation! So we can buy some munitions? Bad mushroom. A cookie or... BAD MUSHROOM! Sure, we'll, we'll try that. And Yeah, we'll okay. try that. So these are some really powerful items, but they're expensive as fuck. Yeah. Th thank you very much. Hey, guy. In the middle of the ocean is a pirate ship. Why are all the toads here? William Chatner. You'll find a... I mean, there's a... A pirate lives there. His name is... Jonathan, Jonathan Jones. Jones. <laughs> John Jones! Da 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 da! <laughs> no, John Jones is a UFC fighter. Yeah. He takes drugs a lot. He is I, His name is... John. John Finn jo John Jones. A star has fallen into the sea. The pirate probably... I mean, that man, uh, Jonathan Jones probably has it. He's nasty. He's nasty. Is this gonna cross over with Wario Land? <laughs> uh, guy! Uh, you okay, buddy? This build is like being in high places. You're... You are collecting stars, right? Only three more to go. Uh, you know, I, I, I picture them talking like G-Man from uh, Half-Life 2. I don't know what that sounds like, Rise so... Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Is there a plot reason that he talked like that? No, he's just creepy. Oh, okay. If you want to enter the ocean, jump into the whirlpools. That sounds like a really bad idea. You want to, uh, should we uh, wear some cement shoes when we do that? <coughs> you will find the village elder in his house. He is the most respected person here. Uh, sure. Okay. They keep spinning and spinning. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. Alright, uh, where's the village elder? He said, on the hill. His own house. Wherever that is. Up here. Hey, guy. Looking a little blue. What's going on? Finally! Finally! Took you long enough! I am the elder of this village! I got to my exalted station in life by pleasing my superiors, which is something I do well. They sure. Kind of Yamamoto vibe from this guy. <laughs> that sounds nice. A star has fallen into the ocean! I need it for a certain purpose. Oh, you need the star. That's not suspicious. You must find it for me. Uh... See, his tone says Yamamoto, but his dialogue says, uh... Oh, fuck, Godfather. What's his name? 
Uh, Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando. Hey, hey, frog. I need you to... Wait. What's going on here? Hello. Uh, hi ho. You're Mario, right? I was a tadpole when we met. Yeah. We, you were. You may grow up so fast. I've graduated from Frog Fuchsius' school. Now I'm searching for the meaning of life. Oh, whoops. There's the left trigger, by the way. It's all. It's been so quiet around here. It's almost eerie. Is something going on? I don't know. You tell me. Certainly doesn't concern me. But if you have any frog coins, got some neat items to sell. All right. So, um. Here's the thing about uh about the frog coins. He's yeah. got some items to sell. They can only be used once, or uh, the, they can only be bought once, but they can be used as as many times as you want. I, yeah, time. I would imagine as much. They're so, perks, basically, right? Yeah. So the XP booster is something I really want to get. It's also very expensive. Yeah. So I might go back uh, off stream. Uh, that's a lot of frog coins. Yeah. But very useful. Yeah. I think you can have enough to buy every single one of these. Exactly. You can only gain just enough to... But you might not. I, I'm i not 100% sure. But I really want that EXP booster first. Even if there are exactly enough in the game, there are permanent missables, so... It's very well, likely... One, one of them is. Just one the one at the very beginning. Oh. The other one's... Oh. What's hey. going on? What are you guarding? What's in here? There's nothing of interest here. Don't bother looking inside. You may not enter here. This is a restricted area. Sounds good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck off now. All right. So next time we get to the bottom of this mystery and maybe fight a pirate. That'll be nice. Is it gonna be Captain Celine? <laughs> no, it's uh, it's gonna be Luffy. Cortez. <laughs> oh, is, is he so back there, again? It's a ghost pirate. No, it, the result may surprise you. Yeah. Or it may not. You may think, look at him and go, oh, that makes sense. Wario? <laughs> He's kind of like a. I would still love for Wario <laughs> to be in the Mario RPG games. I am Wario, but today I'm Jonathan Jones. Alright, put on Spyro. We'll Alright, right we'll be right back with Spyro. <laughs> Hello? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that was good timing. <laughs> Perfect timing. Actually, I think... You just want to keep it going? You can just keep it going. Well, see, what YouTube does is that... Uh, if the interruption is, like, less than a solid minute, it will just keep it in one video. So I want to see if maybe if we change the title of the stream, it will start a new YouTube video. You think that'll work? Maybe. Oh, well, let's try it. Oh, what's it say? There's a, there's a, appears I to be a message. It. Oh. YouTube that's... will auto-determine game names entered in the titles form. So, no funny titles. You don't get to, you don't get to choose those. Alright, let's see. Watch, watch it just, just destroy everything. <laughs> <laughs> 